right, many Americans spending a lot of time at the beach this summer, especially with all this hot weather. And there's some new technology out there that will help us better detect sharks in the water that may be around you. Uh, new tagging technology is helping alert lifeguards in Southern California when sharks get too close to shore. News Nation's Nancy Liu joining us now live. And Nancy, I was looking at some of your images and the first thing I thought is you're going to need a bigger boat. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> but if you're wise about getting in the water, it is safe to get in. But know that there are sharks in the water and there are more of them because conservation efforts are working and because oceans are warmer, sharks are coming closer in. So we have a bigger population and bigger shark. We had the joy and incredible opportunity to head out with the Shark Lab team of Cal State Long Beach. And we uh, got to go tag shark off the coast near Santa Barbara. And they used drone technology. And that has really changed the game for researchers because then they can really spot where the sharks are and then they can move in to tag them. Um, they don't know a lot about sharks, but they do know some things, and that is that they don't want to eat us. Uh, take a listen. This is Dr. Chris Lowe, director of the Shark Lab. Humans clearly are not on the shark's menu, because if we were, then all these populated beaches would be a Costco for sharks. We hear about dawn and dusk, but we also hear about warming oceans. Is it true that shark metabolism is changing because of warming oceans? So many sharks are what we call cold-bodied. In other words, their body temperatures are the same temperature as the water. So when the water's cold, their metabolisms are low, they move slower, they eat less. But as the water warms up, their metabolisms speed up, they eat more, and their metabolisms go up. So what we should expect with climate change, sharks are gonna get hungrier and they're gonna need more food. And because it's summer, we've got more people in the water and that raises the chances and opportunities for accidental encounters, Marnie. I like this technology. I mean, anything we can do to keep people safe in the water and, and help protect the sharks as well. So how does the tagging exactly work, Nancy, on the shoreline? Well, there's a series of buoys 200 yards off the shore, and it's pretty instantaneous. If a tagged shark swims by, it immediately alerts and sends a text to the coordinating lifeguard tower. Um, but know that sharks are out here all the time. So if they close down the beach, every time a shark was spotted, the beaches would be closed. Just know that they are out here. and. Oftentimes, nothing happens. After, more than oftentimes, usually, almost all the time, nothing happens. But if there is an accidental encounter, you're out here too far, you're alone, you're in murky water, be aware that there might be sharks because this is their home and you're visiting uninvited. Yeah, we don't forget you're in their space. Uh, real quick, Nancy, how many sharks have they tagged, did they say? Um, they have tagged about 235, 236 with one that we were able to tag mm. yesterday. And it was a huge 11 footer, just an incredible experience to see them doing that. Um, but the Long Beach team has tagged 235. There are tagging teams all over the world and they're able to track each other's sharks too. So they have been alerted by authorities in Mexico saying, hey, one of your sharks are down here. Or they might hear from people in the Northwest, one of your sharks are up here. Or they might alert other research labs as well. But they think that probably 25% of the sharks have been tagged, but it's hard to know how many are out there and it is birthing season, so the population could be going up sharply. Yeah, well, a lot we can learn from using this technology to our advantage and even tracking some of their migration patterns. Uh, really cool. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.